In this video, we'll look at how to purge old data from the SQL database used by vCenter Server. This video is based on VMware Knowledge Base Article 1025914. vCenter Server would fail to start if the VPX event and VPX task tables are full. To resolve this issue, we can manually purge or truncate the vCenter Server database. VMware recommends that you stop the vCenter Server service and take a full reliable backup of your database before attempting this process. First, we will stop the vCenter Server service by stopping the following services. To purge the SQL Server database, launch the SQL Server Management Studio and connect to the appropriate database. From Databases, click on the Expand button and select VIM VCDB from the list. Click Expand and select Tables. From the list of tables, select DBO VPX parameter. Right click the table and click Edit Top 200 Rows. In SQL Server 2005 Management Studio, we need to right click the table and click Open Table. Modify event max age to 30 and the event max age enable value to true. Next, modify task max age to 30 and the task max age enable value to true. Navigate to the VIM VCDB and select programmability. Expand and click on the stored procedure. Right click on the following procedure and select execute stored procedure. Click OK to proceed. This purges the data from the VPX event, VPX event arg, and VPX event task tables based on the data specified for max age. This process may take a long time depending on the database size. The process may fail due to the transaction log being filled up at multiple intervals based on the data being purged. You must shrink the transaction logs when required and run DBO cleanup task event proc again. When purging is successfully completed, close the SQL Management Studio and start the vCenter server service. Finally, ensure that the default statistic level is set to 1. From the vSphere web client, log into the vCenter server as administrator. Select the vCenter server. Click on the Manage tab. Under Settings, select General and expand Statistics. We can see that the statistics level are already set to 1. If the value is not 1, we can modify this by clicking on the Edit button and selecting Level 1 from here. To truncate the event and task tables, ensure that the vCenter server service is already stopped. Launch the SQL Server Management Studio and connect to the appropriate database. Click New Query and select the correct database. Run the following script. Truncate of event and task tables are successfully completed. This concludes our look at how to purge old data from the SQL Server database used by vCenter Server. For additional video tutorials, subscribe to our KBTV YouTube channel. Thank you for choosing VMware.